today, today's spooky spot, we're going to be having a look at the Scooby-Doo Mystery Solving Crew. Of course, the crew being Daphne, Selma, Shaggy, Fred, and of course, Scooby-Doo. Unfortunately, something that we never had as a kid, at least growing up, I don't rem ever remember having articulated Scooby-Doo figures. One of my staples growing up definitely was Scooby-Doo. Love Scooby-Doo. I found, unfortunately, as Scooby-Doo progressed, though, as Scooby-Doo went on in the ages, it kind of changed from uh, the mystery end of it to more of a supernatural. I was always more of a fan of the original Scooby-Doo, where there was a monster or a ghost, and the crew had to figure out, they had to collect clues. And then from those clues, they would deduce somehow that the great uh, farm ghost or whatever was old farm, Farmer Johnson who lived down the road, or something along those lines. It's unfortunate. It's, I, I, to this day, we'll still always watch Scooby-Doo, the original Scooby-Doo, even when the celebrity guest star Scooby-Doo episodes, I love those as well. But uh, this was definitely a set I wanted to pick up just for the fact that we could get fully articulated figures. Package-wise, we've got Scooby-Doo in the corner there. Zoinks Points? What? Yeah, you can get free stuff at zoinkspoints.com. You can see the back for it. Speaking of the back, on the back of the package, we've got the characters that make up this set. Uh, we've got Velma. Velma Dinkley. It's fun. It, what I like about the set too is it actually gives you last names to the characters because if you grew up with the Scooby-Doo, the earlier Scooby-Doo cartoons, they they really just referred to them by first name. I don't remember much where they actually mentioned them by last name, uh, but we've got Velma, real name Velma Dinkley. Eyes not so good. Of course, she's blind usually without her glasses. Age 15, ambition to get into Mensa. Like science, logic, puzzles, and mysteries. Scooby-Doo, name Scoobert, nickname Scooby, smart choice. I don't know if I would, I don't know if I'd want people calling me Scoobert. Age seven, he's getting up there. Ambition to eat more Scooby snacks, dislikes ghosts, witches, monsters, and demons. Now Scooby-Doo is the only character that has an action feature. We'll talk about that more when we get the package opened up. We've got Fred, Fred Jones. Dress, sweater, ascot, slacks, uh, monk boots, age 17, ambition to be a successful inventor, likes a challenge. We've got Shaggy, <laughs> Norval Rogers, yeah, Shaggy's a better, better name. Hair, messy, age 17, ambition, none, likes whatever edible. Some of the sandwiches I tell you he makes in the, in the cartoon with Scooby. Ugh. Uh, Daphne, we got Daphne Blake, hair perfect. Age 16, ambition to be famous, mystery writer, likes solving mysteries, and looking good. I don't know if she was very good at the first thing, but oh man, she was definitely good at the second. Kind of had a crush on Daphne. So you can go to www.zoingspoints.com to get free stuff online. There you go. That's package aside. What we're going to do is we're going to open this up. And we'll have a look at the mystery solving crew of Scooby Doo. Stay tuned. Welcome back. All right. Well, we've opened up the package. Sadly, the only one that really wanted to stand was this guy right here, Scooby Doo. We'll look at Scooby Doo uh, later. Let's actually go through the actual figures. First, we've got Fred. Golly. Fred was always a sharp dresser. Um. His, his foot is a tad crooked. I might have to actually try to correct that later. But uh, it does look like Fred. It looks pretty cool. And Hanna-Barbera, made in China at the back there. Fred's articulation is he has, uh, you can rotate in the head. You can also rotate the arms. You can bend at the elbow. No waist articulation, but you can bend the legs and bend the knees. can also sit as well. Scooby dooby doo. We've got ourselves Shaggy. Zoinks. Voiced by Casey Kasem. Everybody knows that. 
Shaggy's articulation. By the way, Shaggy, I think, looks very cool as well. I think Shaggy probably looks the nicest of the, of the crew. Uh, Fred's not bad. I think Daphne's probably the worst, but definitely looks like Shaggy. Little chin beard there going as well. By the way, even though I didn't like the Scooby-Doo live-action movie, I think they really should have gone back to the, the roots of Scooby-Doo and did more of a mystery solve solving into, instead of that island with the monsters and stuff like that. But Matt Lillard did a, an, an excellent job on Shaggy. If you could pick anyone, I, you know, having seen it now, he definitely made a perfect Shaggy. I don't think Casey Kasem would have looked a good live-action as, as Shaggy. Um, but Shaggy can rotate the head. You rotate the arms, you can bend the elbows. Uh, again, no waist articulation, but you can bend the legs and bend the knees. Coolest, one of the th cooler parts of Scooby-Doo, <laughs> I always loved when they were walking. They all had a distinct walk, and, and Shaggy always like, um, always like clopped his legs. He always like kicked his legs when he was walking. I, I always thought that was funny. So we have Shaggy. Um, I think as the second strongest character, the strongest figure in this set, we have Velma. Now, there is no feature to take her glasses off, which would have been nicer. They're actually just molded to her head. I guess that way she's not going to lose them. Uh, her articulation is, oh, she can rotate at the head. She can move the arms. Uh, there is no elbow articulation, no waist articulation, but she can also bend her knees. I was going to say she can bend her legs too, but... Just the way her legs are positioned, you can move them just a little bit, but having her sit is going to be next to impossible. But there we have Velma. Finally, before we actually get to Scooby, we've got ourselves Daphne. It's not a great Daphne. It doesn't quite look like she did in the cartoon. In the cartoon, she was smoking hot. I'm going to get comments down below. Um... Toy-wise, though, I don't know. She just doesn't doesn't look as nice. Doesn't look as nice. Now she has articulation in the head, uh, arm articulation, of course. You should bend at the elbow. Uh, no, it's funny. It looks like she has waist articulation, but you can't really move it. It's probably just the way that they've assembled the two pieces together. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Just stiff. She's the only figure that you can rotate at the waist. Um, she can also bend the legs, but again, not much. Oh, try not to look up her skirt. Uh, not much just because of the way the skirt gets in the way. But she can also bend at the knees. Um, I find her feet to be extremely large. Her feet actually weren't that large, but it, figure-wise, she definitely has very large feet. So there is Daphne. By the way, I also had a crush on April O'Neil. Uh, April O'Neil. So hot. <laughs> so hot. Uh, and now we have Scooby-Doo. The man... Well, the whole show is named after him. Um, and figure-wise, he looks really, really cool. Of course, we've got the Scooby-Doo dog collar on him. Um, he has head articulation. Uh oh, Raggy. Um, you can bend the, move the legs. You can bend the knees. And uh, no tail articulation. I mean, I guess you can slightly move it, but the tail is kind of affixed to the back buttocks of of Scooby. Now you'll notice he's his tongue is sticking out. He's got this rubbery kind of tongue, and his eyes look like they could come out of his head. Ah, they actually can. There's a little lever on the back here that's currently down. And the idea is when you lift the lever up, zoom! He actually, uh, his eyes extend out as well as his tongue, uh, I guess, moves further down. Kind of harks back to the, the uh, real Ghostbuster toys that had a lot of features like this. A um, little silly. I mean, I obviously on display I would have him just with his eyes in, but I think it's neat that they at least threw that in there, and it doesn't uh, doesn't ruin the toy either as well. So there you have Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo Doo. Not very good at impressions.
Um, but there you go, guys. We have the complete mystery gang. We got ourselves Daphne. Again, I think the strongest character wise, I think the best character in this set is Shaggy. By far, Shaggy is the best in this set. Velma is probably a close second, followed by Fred. I think Fred's pretty good. Not quite not quite dead on to the cartoon, but he definitely is is a good figure. I think the one that really doesn't quite look like the cartoon is Daphne. She could have looked a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe I maybe my standards are a little too high for Daphne. Who knows? I love you, Daphne. Um, but that was a spooky spot. Today we're looking at the Scooby-Doo Mystery Crew. That rhymed. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more spooky spots to come. And I'll see you next time. Woo! Later, guys.